Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to make a reliable kill brick uh, in Roblox Studio. So you can make obbies like this. Okay, to make your kill brick, first you have to come up to the top tab and then click the, click the part button, which will then spawn a small, you know, small part you can edit, you can modify, you can do whatever you want to it. So what we're gonna do is come here, we're going to then come into the Explorer tab, look here, there it is. And you can see its properties. Scroll down to the very bottom of its properties and you can see the size. We can then change the size of this um, brick. We can make it long by modifying this number. We can, there we go, we can make it here. We can make this one by one, so it's just a one by one jump. So you can just jump over this. So yeah, let's make this our kill brick. So what you're gonna do is click on it you can also change the color, so if you don't want it to be white, you can make it red. You can make it neon so it glows, so it looks more, you know, this, this looks nicer. Okay, so what we're going to do is come to the Explorer tab, we're going to rename this part to Lava, or Kill Brick, or whatever you want. And then we're going to press the little plus sign next to it, and then we're going to add a script. Okay, so what you have to write for this to work is Local Lava equals script dot parent oops misspell dot parent capital P there we go so that's just telling the brick or well, it's linking the brick and the script together and then you can do lava because we've already named so lava equals the brick so we're going to do lava dot touched colon connect function more brackets part get rid of that end bracket there and then press enter we'll then create an end for your code and then you can do if lava sorry if part because we said part here if part dot parent colon find first child brackets quotations I think that's what they're called quotations and then humanoid there we go spell that wrong again humanoid easy so now that's just detecting the player then do then once it detects the player then part dot parent. This is where this is where the parent. This is where the the player dies. Dot parent dot human humanoid dot health equals zero. So when the player touches the part, his health gets set to zero, which then kills him. So let's test this by coming up to the top tab up here and then pressing play here, you can press a little arrow, a little menu pops down, you can press play, you can press play here, you can press run. I like to do play here because it spawns me where my camera is looking. Okay, so there we are, we're in the game, there's my avatar. If we walk over the brick, it should kill him. That was like an instant thing, there was no like delay, it was pretty good. What you can also do to make it more reliable is come down to its properties down here and actually make it turn its can collide off so the player can actually walk through it making it you know easier to kill the player instead of the player actually jumping on it as a solid brick so there you go let's extend this just play around with it you can do what you want really and let's play let's try again and what will happen the player will walk through the part causing the player to the heck? <laughs> oh, okay. So the reason I pressed no colli can collide, it's actually fallen through the base plate because it can't collide with anything. So what you gotta do is click on the part, come up to the top tab up here and press anchor, or you can do that in its properties down here as well, where it says anchored in its behavior tab, and you can turn that on and off. 
So when, you, when it's ticked, it means it's stuck in this position. It won't move. Nothing can move it. It's stuck. So what you can do, now that the part is stuck there, you can actually just walk through it. And he dies, like, he dies instantly. So it's really reliable to follow this script for, to, for it to work. You know, it works really well. Yeah, there we go again. <laughs> We can just press stop. So there. So what you can do then, after creating your kill brick, you can you know you can make really good obbies. You can make parkour courses. You can even use it for I don't know whatever you want really. You can use it for I don't know actual lava. You can add like decal decal I think it's called. You can add some decal to the brick to make it more look look like lava. You can do whatever you want. So I hope this has helped. Hope someone can you know benefit from this. Thanks for watching. If you want more uh, Roblox Studio tutorials, I'm happy to make more. If people want to make their own games, I'm happy to help. Um, yeah, let me know. Thanks.